Hey fellow Vault Warriors, it's Angry Turtle. Just before we jump into the video, I want to say welcome to Ricky B, my latest Patreon. Welcome into Turtle's Army. And as I promised, I'm coming back with Magic Legendary Effects. That's the name that I made for them, but they're truly magical. And in the past, I was already talking about it, and then I call it insanely overpowered and bugged weapons with those effects. I did more research, it's probably still bugged, but as Bethesda just added a new weapon, that's a ghost minigun that can benefit from magical legendary effects, I decided to revisit the topic. I have a lot of weapons on me and I figure out quite accurately what exactly works and what doesn't work and I will share it with you. Okay, let's start our experiment with this Ghoul Slayer's minigun. It comes with a magic legendary effect, what is in this case 33% VATS hit chance. It's a second star effect. This order is just sometimes I think random, but it's a second star, a second star effect, 33% VATS hit chance. And uh, in this case, I have three barrel on it. Then my fire rate is 118. What, as you will be able to see, is slightly too low to achieve the result of bug damage. But sometimes, depending on the server, it still can be visible that it's doing some extra damage. Yeah, I'm firing and you can see I'm doing some damage to him, but I need to fire a lot. It's not like a lot of damage. I'm firing a lot and this is only level 50 behemoth. I keep firing. I'm hitting most of my rounds. Come on, stop staggering me. Finally. Okay, that was a minigun with three barrel. Three barrel. And here, as you were able to see, there was nothing special uh, going on. Like what you would expect, very low damage. I have no damage related perks. Uh, I was full health and legendary effects on this gun is Ghoul Slayers. Damage to Ghouls obviously damage resistance reloading. There is nothing that's supposed to increase my damage versus Super Mutant Behemoth. Now let's try this Vampire's minigun, but in this case, the magic effect is bashing damage and we do have accelerated barrel would give us over 200 fire rate. Let's see if Super Mutant Behemoth is waiting. Yes, another level 50. And as you can see, this time he dropped much faster. His health suddenly went down. And I think it's somehow connected with server latency as well. But it doesn't mean that high server latency is better. I think sometimes it's opposite. The low server latency is causing this more than high server latency. And this is really weird. And now we are going to try this instigating light machine gun. And this time we have level 95 Super Mutant Behemoth. And let's see what we can do. And it looks that we have a higher server latency and even though we are doing some extra damage, it's definitely not too much. Now the same gun, but private server and lower level behemoth. And you can see we are doing better in here. And not only because it's a lower, lower, it's a lower level behemoth, but it's a private server as well. But the biggest issue is the fact that this gun, a standard version, even though it contains two of the magic legendary effect, but it's unfortunately unrelevant. If you have one or two, it doesn't make it any better. Just one magic legendary effect is doing all the work and other is doing the nothing. And fire rate in this base version is only 159, what is putting it slightly below what we want, what is around 200. It's why you can only see a little bit of this uh, super damage effect. It's not as visible as on other weapons, but I have more light machine guns and some of them comes with faster fire rate and we'll see how those are doing. 
By the way, on the thumbnail, we're able to see the legendary effects that were confirmed so far. And those are instigating junkies, medic stalkers. Those are prefixes. And then on the second start, major effects, you can have what's hit chance, limb damage, and bashing damage. You choose one of those to make your weapon magical. And now we have the stalkers like machine gun. When stalker is a magical effect, and other two are normal ones, but faster fire rate is putting us above 200, exactly what we want. We are getting this 200 fire rate. Let's see how magic legendary effect will work now. Level 95, Super Mutant Behemoth. And he's dead. As you can see, this extra fire rate is doing much better job. And by the way, I'm on a public server. It's not a public, it's not a private server at this moment. And now you are probably thinking, but where is the new minigun? Yeah, it will be there, but we'll, we'll get there. But first I need to explain something more. Like at this moment, I have Junkies minigun, where Junkies is a magic legendary effect, but is three barrel, which means the fire rate is too low to trigger this effect. But in the same time, it's explosive, explosive bullets. And what I was able to figure out as explosions count as a different hit, then basically if you have legendary effect that is explosive bullets and magic legendary effect that in case is junkies, then fire rate you can multiply by two. Then in this case, for the magic properties of this gun, effective fire rate is 236. Let's take it on a spin. Okay, level 50 Super Mutant Behemoth. And he's melting. And it's maybe not as effective as a pure fire rate, but as you were able to see, I was getting this extra damage because of these explosive bullets. And I was talking about it just because we have this new minigun, this ghost minigun, that have explosive bullets by default. It's not a legendary effect. The new minigun have explosive bullets by default. And this is one that I have, and fire rate is 123 with pentabarrel, but because it comes with explosive bullets, then we can count it as 246. Then it should be enough to trigger this bug. Then let's take it on the spin. I just need to jump the word again. And here we go. Blooded, magical, Ghost Minigun versus Super Mutant Mihimo. And he's dead. You know what happened and why it's so fast? Just because, with in case of this gun, as normally, this 33% VATS hit chance will not be available on an explosive weapon. But I can have bloodied, I can have magical VATS hit chance on the same weapon, and I still have explosive to double up my fire rate and like evaporate the Super Mutant Behemoth. And I think that on top of everything, the duality of the damage, that this explosion is a little bit different, and there is some, as you can see, energy damage on top of everything. It's a new weapon acting a little bit weird. This magic effect is greatly amplified. I will have no time to test it on Scorchby screen for this video, because it will take time to drop a nuke and test it properly. But if you really want to see it, I think I will try to do it for the next time I will be uploading the video. Maybe in two days. I, I will try to test it and let you guys know if it's effective weapon for Scorchby Queen. Now for the comparison, I have almost the same bloodied minigun, but this time is a faster fire rate. It's not a magic legendary effect. And let's see how this one will be doing versus Super Mutant Behemoth. Hopefully it's the same level. If not, it, it should be visible difference. It's night level 95, then it's max level. And as you can see, because of this crazy fire rate, even though as this gun does not have any of those magic legendary effects, 
just purely because of this crazy fire rate, I was still getting this extra damage. As if we taking if we are taking into consideration this duality of this gun and fire rate 145 and explosive effect giving you like 290, it's so crazy that, that game seems to not be able to handle that. It's crazy how much damage you can actually achieve with those guns. And we are not done yet. Even though normally you expect this special extra damage from heavy guns like Ultraside Gatling Laser, Gatling Laser, Minigun, a New Ghost Minigun and Light Machine Gun, basically those five guns, there are some exceptions from this rule. One of those exceptions is this magic laser rifle, just because it's legacy, it comes with explosive bullets, it comes with a splitter and it's a magic junkies. Then normally you can see the fire rate is only 82, it shouldn't do anything. But because of this splitter and legacy explosive bullets, the effective fire rate is crazy high and I will demonstrate it now what will happen with the behemoth. Let's see how, the, how well this will work. And keep in mind, I have zero addictions. Then there is no boost from addictions. One magazine, he almost dead. And he's dead now. And even though fire rate here is much lower, I have zero addictions. It's a junkie's weapon. I have zero perks, zero spec. It is as well devastating. Here we have another exception from the rule. It's actually a commando rifle. But how we can use it? It's because it's magic thanks to junkies and it's explosive bullets. And to increase the fire rate, we have installed Scorch Killer's receiver. What means? The damage is reduced, but fire rate is increased to 127 and explosive bullets double it up to 254. Now let's see if this will work. Another level 95 Super Mutant Behemoth. And he's dead. It's clearly working better than anticipated. It's a junkies. I have zero addiction. I will show it probably again. I do not have any addictions. Zero. No addictions. And perks. I do not have any perks to increase my damage. I only have this ground pounder to help me with aiming when I'm using rifles. I have all the carry weight perks, quality of life perks, but nothing really to boost my damage. Instigating through Gatling laser with faster fire rate, what gives it fire rate of 227 and instigating is on the list of magic legendary effects. Although I need to mention that energy weapon generally because they are using different damage calculation do not perform as good as the new mixed weapon or the ballistic weapons. But if we will get lucky with low latency server, we should do just fine. Let's see. Yeah, it's slower than other guns, but you can clearly see that the health bar is speeding up a couple times during firing. And even though like my damage is super low and I was barely getting any damage numbers, I was able to kill him faster than yesterday when I was testing other guns like a 50 cal and the new gun and I had some of the perks equipped to actually increase my damage. Now let's try just a plain minigun but with very high fire rate. Level 50 Behemoth. And as you can see, the plain minigun is not doing so well. Even though it's lower level Behemoth, what should be easier to kill. But thanks to the crazy fire rate, even without any legendary effect, sometimes it's getting slightly like like slightly higher damage when what would be expected. And now we are at the fissure site. The same bloodied magical ghost minigun, but this time we are spec to use it. We have the perks. 
and we are in Nerd Rage Zone. We just need a Scorch Beast to get a little bit closer, as this bug is not getting triggered if you are not able to consistently hit a target. If you want a little bit more about this bug, you should uh, read the FET76 info. It's a website that uh, the guys over there were trying to investigate this topic and they have quite uh, interesting conclusions about it. Okay, let's see what I can do about this Scorch Beast. Yeah, if not the fact that she moved, she will die in like less a second. Uh, we'll try to find some more. Maybe let's try if we can actually do something uh, while shooting a flying Scorch Beast, if we can. Yeah, I killed her, but I wasn't able to actually chain damage, then it was quite slow. Can we get another Scorch Beast? Or is it only one in here today? Oh, there is another level 80 and legendary, let's see. Yeah, I think that was quick. And I'm expecting it to be much more than normally you should achieve with any gun, really. And what I want to say about the barrel as well at the end, the penta barrel, the one that I have at this moment installed, it's only worth it if you have a magical weapon. Any of those magical prefixes like instigating, junkies, medic, stalkers, or any of the magical effects on your second star like what's hit chance, limb damage, or bashing damage. With those, Penta Barrel is worth it because it increases the fire rate and damage is not as much relevant in this case. If you have a normal weapon that's not uh, acting like that, then you definitely want 3 Barrel because 3 Barrel has highest damage and highest DPS. Because for whatever reason, the Penta Barrel is firing slightly faster, but damage per bullet is so greatly reduced that normally it's not worth it. Yeah, let me know if you ever experienced something like that in your game, if you have any of those guns that classify as magically overpowered uh, in my vocabulary now. And as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.